gab at so mean. guys, what's up? It's me, Audra, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. Well, as you saw by the thumbnail, I have something fun and sort of interesting to talk to you about, and that is I stopped wearing a bra. We're just going to kind of jump right into that, and if you are new to my channel, well, you're in for a treat. I'm Audra. I'm a little awkward, a little strange, a little bit weird, and I talk about anything, anything, including how I went braless. Okay, so first up, I do understand that my T-Tots are small. They weren't always though, so keep that in mind. <laughs> so one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this is because, I don't know, I thought it would be interesting to talk about my journey and what's come of it and how I'm living my life without wearing a bra. First things first, I actually did not go braless on purpose. It happened when I was moving. So when I was moving, I ran into a bit of a situation where uh, I could not find my bras. Uh, I was trying to unpack stuff. I couldn't find my bras. And since I was moving anyway, I was like, eh, just, I'm not going to worry about it. Who cares? And you know what? I didn't care. It was really comfortable. I was like, huh. And since I couldn't find my bras, I started back to work, I still couldn't find them, and I was like, well, I'm just not going to wear one. And here we are. So I wanted to kind of share with you what happened and kind of where it all comes from, and we'll just see what happens. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it's like, I guess it's a story time. Story time. I stopped wearing my bra. I'm getting done. So as I mentioned before, I didn't go braless on purpose. And I actually wanted to figure out like where it came from that we had to wear bras. And it harkens all the way back. Yes, that's right. Harkens from days of yore when I was probably in third grade. And that is the first time, I think it was third or fourth grade, probably third. I developed pretty early. Uh, so when we as girls develop, I'm just going to throw this out here. But like, it is shameful for us. Is it not? Does it not seem like it's very shameful for us to develop anything? Like the second you get like even a little triangle, it's like, <gasps> put on a training bra. And that, that's where it starts. Because up until that point, we're just running around having a great time. We probably wouldn't know any different if nobody had ever threw a training bra on us. And when I was younger, I used to be like, <laughs> I got, what is it? What is it training? <laughs> it's training me. It's training me to get used to wearing that holder, that holster for the rest of my life. That's what it's for. It's not training your boobies. It's training you to get used to having to wear it forever and ever and ever. So, <laughs> cause I used to, I mean, I don't know how many of you were ever curious about that. Why is it called a training bra? It's because it's training you to get used to wearing this thing every day for the rest of your life. And on top of that, it was so, so shameful. Son, you're about to get in trouble. Before I was rudely interrupted by my son, <laughs> I just feel like looking back on it, it's so shameful as a woman to develop. For When you're a young girl, one of the first things you're taught is to be acutely aware and ashamed of your breasts. It's that easy. You, Since I was one of the first ones to develop, it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. People were snapping my bra straps, especially boys. They thought it was so funny. I found it humiliating it was awful i hated wearing it all the other girls were either like most of them were jealous and hateful i didn't know that at the time but they were just jealous because they weren't developing right and then there was the other sector who thought i was gross because i was getting them then there were my guy friends when i used to play with boys like it was nobody's business but all of a sudden i had lumps and so they couldn't play with me anymore because i was a girl like and it was weird to me because i was like i was a girl before they're like yeah now you're a girl with rock <laughs> So it all kind of goes back to there that I feel very strongly that a lot of times, most of the time, especially in the U.S. for women, we are just shamed from the moment that we get lumps on our chest and we are taught that we need to contain them. We need to contain them. So I went through all of that, I think like a lot of us do, and I thought about that and I was like, well, but what difference does it make if I just stop wearing a bra? 
So these are my experiences with stopping wearing a bra. Not really. The weird thing about this is I think that I could only tell that anyone was looking at me because when I first stopped wearing a bra, I became acutely aware that I wasn't wearing a bra. So if anybody even looked in my direction, I assumed they were looking in this region here to see what was happening. Turns out most of the time they weren't. And the few people who were, it really wasn't, it's, it doesn't, didn't phase me. I was like, I mean, they're boobies, like what do you want? And now it doesn't bother me at all. If anybody looks, I'm like, yeah, boobs, they're free. So about that. Not nearly as much as you think they would. So the funny part about this is we have been just, and I feel maybe it's just me, but media really stereotypes the jiggle, right? Stereotypes it as like this big bouncy thing, but we forget one very important thing about all of that. And that is it's in slow motion. That's right. Everything looks extra as fuck in slow motion. So the Baywatch run, we actually forget that it only looked like that because it was in slow motion. They weren't like running real fast. They always slowed it down. And when you slow it down, it looks like they're going wop 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 like the I'm sorry about the weird sound effect of our boobies. Apparently that's the sound that they make in my mind. But literally that is what it is. They do jiggle, but I find that it's not like excessive it's just kind of normal wandering about it's it's not it's negligible it doesn't bother me at all um doesn't hurt it is not excessive it is not in slow motion and it's not particularly noticeable now i know you're like but audra you barely made it to a b cup this year i did but i used to have 36 triple d boobs and uh, I do remember that when I did decide to go braless, it, you know, back then, like if I was just going to go to the store or something, I never really noticed that they were doing so much. Like they really weren't doing near as much as I thought that they were doing. And I was actually more comfortable without a bra on than I was with one. So yeah, there is a little bit of jiggling. I'm not going to lie, but it's not like TV makes it out to be. And once you get used to it, it just becomes a natural part of how you walk and move. So you don't notice and nobody else does. Funnily enough, it's much easier to manage. <laughs> I was actually surprised by that as well because I never really thought about it. But when I wore a bra... I, you know, underwire at the time, but when I wore a bra, I'm going to definitely tell you that I would get like a lot of boob sweat, like anybody else, especially in Texas summer, you're going, you're going to have some boob sweat. But I started to notice, especially while I was moving, that I was like sweating normally and the sweat rolled down like, like it's supposed to. It didn't pool and trap in a bra, which we all have that line, that dirt line, that line of sweat. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. You do. The line of sweat that like forms in the underwire of your bra or the under part of your bra because you are sitting in sweat. So one of the things that I also noticed is that it was so awesome when I got boob sweat because now the sweat just rolled down and then I stopped getting that weird rash. I'm going to lift up and I hope I don't get in trouble for this, but I got, I stopped getting the weird rash that was happening like right underneath my rib cage where my bra sat. So, cause I used to get like little bumps there. I don't get them anymore. Like the sweat just goes where it's naturally supposed to go. It doesn't pool anywhere. It's not sitting anywhere getting like drying onto my skin and drying onto this bra and causing irritation underneath. Like my under boobies are happier, my ribs are happier, I'm happier. So yeah, the boob sweat situation has actually worked out far better than it ever was when I wore a bra where it was just sitting underneath there. Fuck yeah. It is very comfortable. In fact, one of the benefits that I came to find once I stopped wearing a bra was that 
<sighs> the beauty of not wearing a bra is that my shoulder stopped hurting as bad, which was nice. I stopped, like, they still hurt. They're a source of where I keep all my stress and also Bo Bear lays on my back when I'm sleeping, and that's neither here nor there. But my shoulders, where the bra straps would sit, don't hurt as bad. My back doesn't hurt nearly as bad. So I used to get a lot of pains in my upper back. And now I realize a large part of that was probably because I was wearing a freaking bra. So I don't have it anymore because it's, when I quit wearing it, I just noticed it probably like the last month, mid, early mid-January is when I really started to notice that I didn't have the pains that I used to have here. And I didn't have it like right up in the center of my back there. Um, I didn't have any more pain on my sides from like my bra trying to hold my key tops up. And that's the thing. We don't actually think about this, but your boobs weigh something. And when I was a 36 triple D, I'm going to tell you right now, it, I was wearing the right size bra. Okay. But bras were created by men. And what they wanted bras to do was lift your boobies up and a lot of it pushing them forward. Right. So it was like, boop, boop. so you're like, Pfft. Hello, look at them. So, what we don't think about though is that where is the weight being distributed to hold these up? Your shoulders. So your back and your shoulders, and look at the construction of a bra. It is literally a boulder holder to be like, boop, and pull your girls upwards, hold them up. And so all day, a lot of us are wearing bras upwards of eight hours a day. Do you not think that that has any impact on the rest of your body? It does. It does. When I said no to the bra, I am enjoying not having any pain in my back. Uh, well, let me rephrase. I'm enjoying not having any pain from wearing a bra on my back. I still have pains in my back because one, I'm old, two, I have endometriosis, endometriosis and it kills my back. But my upper, all the pains that I had up here, around here, all of that is gone. I no longer have any irritation marks. I don't have to worry about my bra getting overly sweaty and having to wash it or air it out. Like all of this is gone and it's phenomenal. We all have knee place. I'm going to say it like that in case I should ever get monetized. And I said, knee place. We all have knee place. All right. Um, if I'm wearing a thinner shirt, like today, this shirt is actually thinner. I wear a tank top underneath. And it's not a tank top with a built-in bra. It's just a regular old tank top. Uh, I found that a good replacement for any time I'm wearing like a thinner shirt where I don't necessarily want everybody seeing my girl being like, pow. Instead, I wear a tank top underneath and it's soft, it's comfortable, feels good, um, does what it needs to do. I still don't end up with the sweat underneath. I'm sorry I keep jiggling my stuff in your faces, <laughs> but it doesn't have any of the sweat or any of that underneath. And in fact, again, if I do get a little sweaty, the cool thing about it, which I know is gross, but I can just kind of tuck my shirt up underneath there and like, and then, and then the shirt takes it and the shirt evenly distributed. Anyways, we're not gonna, hmm. I have a sweaty job. Okay, so, but yeah, I just wear a tank top underneath. I started investing in getting some more tanks, and for a thinner shirt, I just put a tank top underneath, and I'm rock and roll. Or I guess as some people say Gucci, but I like rock and roll. The biggest surprise that I found from not wearing a bra was just the absolute beauty and comfort and freedom of not shoving my boobies into an, an unnatural position. I know we're out here in these streets thinking, oh no, if I don't have a bra on, you know, my boobs are too big to not wear a bra. Everybody's going to see everything. I'm telling you, I have that same mentality. And even when I was in my 36 triple D, there were times where I just wouldn't wear a bra because I wasn't in the mood. And I, I remember those being like the best times of my life. And I'm sad I ever went back to wearing a bra. I'm not going to wear a bra. I'm not. I'm surprised by how adamantly I became against wearing a bra because I think that we trick ourselves into believing this bull that they feed us that like, oh, well, if you don't wear a bra, it, you know, especially if you have bigger boobs, like this is going to happen. No, it's really not. It's not. It's not going to happen. In fact, I've run into other women who have ample bosoms and they quit wearing bras and we kind of shared some of the same experiences. They also reported that they didn't notice that you know, people were looking at them because once you get used to it, you're not any, you're no longer aware of people looking at you to be like, oh, she's not wearing a bra. 
you're just going on about your business. It, it becomes their problem and not yours. And then you're so comfortable with it, like with anything. It's like if you wear a really badass outfit that other people are like, oh my God, I would never wear that. But you are completely confident and comfortable in wearing your badass outfit and you just strut. You don't notice anybody not like it because you are in yourself. You're like, I'm feeling my self and you don't give a shit. The only people you notice are the people who are like, damn girl, you look good. You're like, you know I do. So it's the same thing is the, the surprise that I found was one, how comfortable it was. Two, how many other women I ran into were just like, yeah, I stopped wearing a bra because da 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 da. And three, one of the interesting things I started to find was like, I was surprised by how much misinformation I had ingested as a woman. Um, I think we were all terrified. I know I was at one point of looking like an indigenous woman who the pictures that they showed us and nature shows and a lot uh, in books and stuff, but they had, you know, they were all psh. One of the things that they don't tell you is one, the natural direction for your boobs is going to be down. Two, they didn't tell you that a lot of these women had had children and were breastfeeding them and thus causing them to be that way. Three, they also didn't tell you that in some of these tribes, a lot actually, they work to stretch the boob down because they found that to be attractive. So, <clears throat> before we start looking at them, we're like, Haha, you have soggy, listen, I would rather spend the rest of my life braless and enjoying it uh, then put another bra on. In fact, I was surprised about like the perkiness that started to come back. <laughs> so this is the biggest surprise. They got perkier. Not just because they got smaller, because they got smaller and then they were perky and then they started kind of, you know, making a southward journey. Then I stopped wearing a bra and then they just kind of started going Do you know why? Because the bra was like forcing them into this unnatural position. So of course it looked, it felt like they were just like sad face. But the reality was once they settled back into like having their own rhythm, <laughs> that's such a weird thing to say, but once they settled back into having their own rhythm, they kind of got perky. They're perkier. They're happier boobs. They're perky, happy boobies. And I'm happy for it. And yeah. Also, if you have bigger breasts, Please keep in mind how much weight, I talked about this earlier, keep in mind how much weight that this bra is trying to like, we're tricking ourselves into believing that we need to have a bra. I'm so happy that I don't wear it at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. I did and it was the most uncomfortable experience in my life in fact when i put a bra back on i was like oh my god why who how come we ugh, 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 ugh. that was my experience when i put a bra on. i was acutely aware that the bra was on it was highly uncomfortable in a way i can't even begin to explain it just seemed completely unnatural it seems so unnatural to have my poor they were free before they like they were free they were free range boobs. And then I tried to cage them. And they weren't having it. And neither was I. All right, so as I mentioned before, a big tip that I can give you is invest in some tank tops for your thinner shirts that you're comfortable being able to put on underneath a shirt. Uh, prepare yourself for people looking at you, but realize that you're free and that's their problem and not yours. And eventually you'll get used to it to the point where it doesn't really bother you. You're not jiggling near as much as you think that you are unless you want them to. And you're really just going to end up, for me, I am very surprised by how much happier I am when I just stopped wearing one completely because I used to continue to wear it for work and then just not wear it when I was going out or something like that, you know, depending on. But now I've just reached a stage where I'm just like, no, I'm good. I'm not going to wear it at all. I'm never putting another bra on. Like, no, I'm going to be free. They're going to be free. Everyone is different and it's completely up to you on whether or not you want to try the bra free life but if you are a person who really just 
is tired of it because I I remember I built up like a huge Victoria's Secret bra collection and all this stuff. It's nice not spending money on something as frivolous as a bra. And that's how I feel about it. Please don't be offended if you love bras. But for me, I just sort of feel like this is a lot of money to spend regularly, regularly on something that actually just makes me miserable. Like I wouldn't pay to give myself diarrhea. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like wearing a bra is for me. It's like I'm giving myself diarrhea and I don't know why. It's a weird analogy, but it's like one of the worst things I could think of giving myself. In the end, I feel very strongly that women are made to feel ashamed of our bodies on a regular everyday basis. And it's always something with us. It doesn't matter what we do or how we do it. Somebody's always trying to find a way to make us feel bad for it. Whether our boobs are big or small, whether our butts are big or small, whether we are curvy or whether you have a SpongeBob SquarePants body like me, have a good day. But somebody is always out there trying to make us feel bad. For me, I just think that you should do what makes you feel good. If you wanna try going braless, go for it. My suggestion is to just like start slowly integrating it into your life, like going all weekend without wearing a bra. It's very awesome. I'm going to tell you that when I have to leave the house, I don't, I don't have to worry about like, Oh, let me just put on a bra right quick to go. And I'm just like, all right, well, let me put on a shirt. Bye. And then I'm out the door. Like there's no, there's not a lot of extra steps anymore. Uh, it's very comforting and it's nice. It's nice just being a natural, natural bitch. I like it. I like it very much. So I'm free boobing. Free boobing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are inspired to burn your bra, although I would not recommend that because the material is highly flammable and you could set your house on fire and your neighborhood, then go ahead and hit the big thumbs up. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel because I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers for my birthday in April. I'm going to be 40. And I think I'm going to go to Florida. I was going to go to Florida or New York. Hmm but I wanna be warm, so I'm going to Florida. All right guys, thank you, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and until next time, I love each and every one of you, deuces!